Dying Light 2 is the finally last zombie game coming out in ever. And I would know. I'm Slim Kickle Gaming. When will this have gone far enough? In the first Dying Light, you play as Kyle Train. Well, does he ever say anything funny I could edit in here? <coughs> yeah, that's a classic. Okay. <coughs> Holy shit, going at- <coughs> Are you okay? Is he okay? What's- I don't remember- <coughs> <laughs> Between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m., you're having a really fun time. But when night comes, it's time to purge all the piss in your balls. <laughs> Nighttime in this game is the scariest shit ever, even when there's no one behind you. <laughs> so, is Dying Light 2 still that scary? Give me your kneecaps, muck troll! Where you going? Where you headed? You going into the sewers? I'll chase you there! I'll chase you to the fucking ends of the earth! Okay, but how's the story? So it starts out, oh, a subway. It's fresh. <laughs> uh, pipe down. I think he's gone. Me too. Who just threw that? Is that you? Are you drunk? Get down from there, okay? You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> Alcohol kills. What's up? I'm Mr. Beast, and today we're literally gonna be hunting beasts in the street and giving them money. Please, sir, come back and take a single coin. Let me see your phone. Are you subscribed to Mr. Beast? Carl, take his phone. Chandler, hold the legs. Okay, I'm going for the head. But enough messing around. How's the story? Well, it gets really good once you put this right about here. And if you stand right about here, you can actually see... Oh my fucking shit! Dying light, more like dying fight! I'm on hand! I'm not so I'm cuckoo for fucking Cocoa Pops. You can just jump into random buildings now. That's how I get my kicks. This is how you get yours. Man, big day. Time for a nap. Okay, that was definitely not melatonin. Be quiet. That's a howler down there. All right. Let me give you a tip. Throwing the coin was the joke. I have no idea what that thing does. He's farting out his mouth. Brush your teeth. Now at nighttime, you can also enter the most dangerous zones known to man. A gamer house. <laughs> How much Uber Eats did they get, bro? <laughs> what were they door dashing? What were they door dashing? Bro? Something new in Dying Light 2 is if you spend too much time around all this spilt monster energy, you become a monster. But I made it out alive. Bazinga! <laughs> It wasn't monster energy. It was bang! Okay, enough having fun. Let's talk about the story. That's what matters. Because in this game, guys, you get choices. Hey. Uh, hi. You guys know this one? I don't know. What do the bullets say to the man that got shot? <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Um. <laughs> bang. Nah. What you learn? Then you're like in this quest, you choose who gets all of the water, with both choices having big interpersonal consequences and moral ramifications, which are, I mean- Oh, sorry, Mom. Dad's gonna let me use the zip line. Yeah! What have I done? So far, it's not as shit jortsingly terrifying as the first game, but it totally has moments that'll activate your fight or flight. Oh yeah, no, fuck me for sure. Okay, buddy, that was fight. You know what that means it's time for. Chases are also very scary, and you can get up to four levels of fucked. I only got up to three before I went back to my crib. I say quib because I'm a little baby. I actually ate all- I got so scared I ate all my stuffed animals. Honestly, guys, everything here makes me so happy. I can really tell that once I've spent enough time with this game, the parkour and combat will just meld into each other, and I will reach. <laughs> Another windmill restored, helping people. That's hard, but the ground, it's harder. When I do parkour, I'm hard. I mean, I've got like an aerial rudder. I fucking missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, did I just clothesline him? Shit, oh, did I just bunk him off the post? Paul, you gotta see this shit, man. That was fucking funny. Jim, cut the recording. You got guts showing yourself around here after what you did to my wife. Fuck you, piece of shit. Nah, you can turn the music back on. Dying light. More like spying guys. I'm gonna go for a stealth kill. You see, propane is an invisible gas. Good luck trying to kick my invisible ass. No! It can't be! Jim! He went to the... 
<laughs> Shit, uh. What? Who's that? Um, the undoctor. <sighs> yeah, that's all I got. Look out, propane! Fuck! Uh, good thing propane is also my political leaning. Hey, baby, you must be light because, uh... Now back away slowly. Now back away slowly. Now back away slowly. Now back away slowly. Cha-cha real smooth. Charlie Brown? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my... Okay, okay, okay. Over to the rope. Oh, my God. Okay, over to the edge. Holy shit. Holy fuck. All right. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. And I made it. Oh, surely not. Just a balance beam, baby. Gymnast, and it's moving. It is tipping with my weight. It is a fucking fulcrum. Oh! Go! Throw me in a fucking New England chowder because I am a clammy boy. And of course, there's another rope. Okay. I actually made it. And so did my balls back into my body. But today, I learned that falling's part of the journey. As long as you get back up. Oops, I missed it. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like this game. But now, I'm gonna get negative. The zombies have levels now. Why? All they do is make me think, oh yes, video game. Now I don't like this, cause I think there's a required amount of immersion and suspended disbelief for horror to work. In alien isolation, the alien that stalks you is a terrifying predator that is not just bigger, faster, and stronger than you in every imaginable way, but sets traps and learns your strategies to better hunt you down. Now let's put a big level 99 over its head. Oh, well now I know it's dangerous. Now look at this lady, she's a level two goon. She'll never survive a fall like that. Put a pair of I'm gonna make all my fucking god, this is awesome. Breath of the Wild, more like dick of my ass. 